Aaron Kraft, point guard, The Ohio State University. Aaron Kraft, welcome back to Campus Insiders. I feel like we're basically the Aaron Kraft Network, but what uh, television entity isn't the Aaron Kraft Network? Uh, beginning a new phase of your life now, your college career. Some people thought maybe you were in college for seven or eight years, but it, uh, it has come to an end, and now you're going about the business of trying to be a professional athlete. What's it like? It's different. Uh, it's exciting too, though. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that I can go to that obviously teammates that have been through the process, and. I can get a lot of advice from them, but at the same time, it's always a little different for everyone. So uh, it's amazing how many things that just keep coming. So you just take them one at a time and I'm really enjoying the process. G give us a sense of what you've been doing since the end of the season. Last we saw you, you were lying on your back with your hands behind your head in a difficult loss. Um, so, you know, after the season, we took, took, some, took a little bit of time off, wanted to get the body as, as close to 100% as we could. And then after that, it was about finishing school and, and doing training as much as possible. Um, so we were staying in Columbus doing that. Um, and then once I graduation happened a week and a half ago, then we went to North Carolina to train some and did a lot, did, did a lot of stuff there. And then now I'm here. Uh, and then after this, you know, you never know where you end up going to be. So, so I, I know you like to tune out the chatter about your game, but uh, I'm sure you're aware that the conventional wisdom about you is great college player, but probably not an NBA player. I gather that's not something that you're going to readily accept at this point. So uh, what do you have to do to overcome that uh, obstacle, that opinion um, that you're not quite, most people aren't good enough for the NBA, but that uh, you're, it's going to be hard for you to make that transition? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's always tough. And the biggest thing we wanted to do since the season was over till now was, was put in a ton of work and put in a ton of, ton, a ton of energy and and just wanted to show improvement between then and now. And I think we've been able to do that. Um, and it, it's staying within myself. Um, you know, everyone has things they do great. Everyone has things that they aren't very good at. Um, so it's really about minimizing those weaknesses and just making them, getting them as good as possible, but, you know, leaning on your strengths. And, and that's what I, I hope to continue to do. Uh, you know, all you need is one, one, one opportunity, and you never know. That's exactly right. And obviously you being a point guard, a lot of guys don't have a true position and that can, go against them, that's not going to be a problem for you. You are a point guard. However, as you well know, Aaron, at the NBA level, at the point guard, you've got to be able to make that three-point shot. There are not too many. People always talk about Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd made himself into a great outside shooter. So fair to say that's been a big emphasis for you since oh, the college season ended? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not a surprise that you know shooting wasn't my greatest, my greatest asset um, for, for much of college. You know, went through stretches where it was good. but. Uh, and we just kind of took a step back and said, you know, let's find what's comfortable for you. And uh, I'm excited with the improvement that's, that's been made to this point. Uh, you changing your form or is it just about repetition? Yeah, uh, we looked at the form a little bit. Obviously, you know, everyone wants to shoot like Steph Curry and with perfect form like that, but no one, no one does that except for him. Uh, everyone kind of has their own little quirks and things. So it was about what was finding comfortable for me. And once we found that comfortability, it was repeating that over and over again and, and being confident with it, um, you know, getting outside of my head and it's okay, you know, you're gonna miss shots. Uh, you don't have to overanalyze every miss. Just, just keep doing it the same way. And that's what we've been able to do. Tell us about how you finished up academically. We know you were a great student, so you, you, you're a pre-med major. How many majors did you have? How did you yeah. finish up academically? Yeah, finished up well. No Bs, I'm assuming. No, it was, the, the class was it, was, it was up in the air, you know. Analytical chemistry was, it was a little challenging, but. Analytical you know, chemistry. Yeah, it was, it was great. But Sounds like a barrel we, of laughs. We, yeah, we, we, we found a way to get through it, though, <laughs> yeah. it was, which, was, which was big, you know. So I finished off on, on a high note um, and, and was able to walk a graduation a week and a half ago, which was, which was phenomenal. Are you NBA or bust, or would you entertain the chance to play overseas, yeah. play in the D League? There are a lot of, there are a lot of professional mm, yeah, yeah. options around the world outside of the NBA. Yeah, that's, that's the amazing thing. Uh, it's, I can't say we have a, a plan in place or anything like that. Uh, like you said, if, if I want to continue to play, you know, God willing, I'm, I'm healthy, I could find somewhere to continue to play. But if this is the situation right, uh, and that's, that's going to be a bridge we have to cross when we get there. That's the advantage of being young. You don't have to have answers to these questions. Exactly. I know a lot of old guys like <laughs> me who don't have answers to these questions. Okay, now last thing, uh, we all saw the viral uh, video of you 
saying what pi was to like the thirtieth. How, how many decimal points after after um, the after the three? I think it's uh, sixty or sixty. Okay, well, just just to prove, wasn't a fluke. We're in a room here. There's no cue cards, no teleprompter, anything. One last time, Aaron Kraft, give me the full pie. I can I can try. Um, 3.14159265358979323846264338327950288419716939945105820945945945. That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah, it's it's amazing the the number of kids that are younger than me than when I started come up and be like, "Oh, I got 80." I got 80 down. So it keeps going in step, other words? They're like, step your game up. And I'm like, I like to think of myself as educated. I didn't know. I, I guess I assumed it went past 3.14, but that's all yeah. I knew. But, oh, yeah. Uh, it goes on forever. So you can knock yourself goes, out for, <laughs> for a long time. I'll stay the 3.14. <laughs> uh, listen, thanks for being with us Absolutely. again. Hope we keep uh, talking as the years go on. Suffice it to say, it was an incredible pleasure to cover you, uh, to watch you play. Uh, you were a great asset for college basketball. I know Ohio State's going to miss you, but you got great things ahead of you no matter Thank what you happens so much. with the draft. Really Aaron Kraft, everybody.